After the successful landing of Starship SN15, the future of the Starship program has become even more exciting. The primary goal for the fully reusable Starship is to take humans to the Moon and Mars. However, in order to enable a city on Mars, Elon Musk estimates that SpaceX would need to produce more than 1,000 Starships, each flying multiple times throughout its lifetime. The SpaceX CEO has also set an ambitious goal of eventually launching three Starships per day each carrying upwards of 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit and beyond. However, in order to mass manufacture something, you cannot just produce one thing at a time. You need a full-fledged production line. Or in the words of Elon Musk, it is relatively easy to make a prototype and extremely difficult to mass manufacture. However, with his other company Tesla, Elon Musk has a fair share of experience with mass manufacturing and he is leveraging all of that hard-earned experience to make sure that the ambitious goals of Starship actually become a reality. So in this video, we'll dive inside SpaceX's Starship factory and see how these massive prototypes are actually produced. SpaceX acquired the current land in Boca Chica in 2014 and the construction for the manufacturing and testing facilities began way back in 2016. However, as you guys might know, SpaceX didn't wait too long to start manufacturing and testing the early versions of Starship prototype. The first-gen prototypes like Mark 1 and the Star Hopper were actually built in broad daylight, a stark contrast to the traditional way of manufacturing rockets in sophisticated controlled environments. However, as the rate of development ramped up, SpaceX slowly started to move inwards. But rather than spending millions into building concrete facilities, SpaceX's team opted to use tents built on top of large shipping containers. This reduced the time and money required to build various facilities and the shipping containers also act as office spaces and storage areas for SpaceX. Since the expansion of the facility began in 2019, SpaceX has built multiple tents and three vehicle assembly buildings along with the suborbital launch mount and the landing pads. The tents are where the stainless steel rings are built for the Starship prototypes Along with this, the internal structures for Starship like the internal bulkhead dome, the header tanks, the thrust puck are also built inside these massive tents. One such facility is called the propulsion building. This is where the part for the internal plumbing for the prototypes are manufactured. However, the main propulsion element for Starship, the Raptor engines, are not manufactured in Boca Chica. All the engines are manufactured in SpaceX's headquarters and are subsequently sent to the rocket facility for testing. The tallest structures at the Starship factory are the three vehicle assembly buildings. The shortest of the three, called the Low Bay or the Iron Henge, was erected during the early phase of development for the assembly of the Mark I prototype. The next in line, called the Mid Bay, can house two prototypes at the same time. The Mid Bay is where the 9 meter wide stainless steel rings for Starship are stacked on top of each other and are subsequently welded together. From here, the Starship prototypes are moved inside the tallest structure the high bay assembly building. The 80 meter tall high bay is where the nose cone and the main body of Starship are welded together. Once a Starship prototype enters the high bay, it indicates that the prototype is all but ready to be rolled out to the launch pad for the testing to begin. The plan with the Starship factory is to have a linear production line, similar to how we see at the car manufacturing facilities. The factory is designed in such a way that the raw material enters from one end moves through the various facilities and finally exits from the high bay as a finished prototype. With the advantage of mass manufacturing, SpaceX has utilized the philosophy of rapid iterative development. With this, the Starship manufacturing methods and the design of the rocket keep improving with each new iteration. The final piece in the puzzle to build a massive manufacturing and launch facility is the launch pad. Transporting the 60 meter tall Starship is for sure quite a difficult task. As a result, the launch complex for the SpaceX's Starship rocket is built just 2 kilometers from the production line. Currently, the launch complex consists of tank farm for propellant storage, two suborbital launch mounts for high altitude flight tests, and the landing pad where up until now the Starship prototypes have either landed or entered in a rapid and scheduled disassembly. As of the making of this video, an orbital launch mount is currently under construction as SpaceX prepares for Starship's first orbital flight test this year. Even though the Starship factory is already quite big, there are still plans for further expansion. As the work at the Boca Chica facility grows even further, SpaceX is adding technicians to its workforce every single day. In March 2020, for instance, SpaceX doubled their workforce to 500 within just a single weekend. 
and since then the number of employees at Boca Chica have nearly quadrupled to about 2000 Elon Musk has also suggested that with a growing workforce SpaceX might just build an entire city for its employees which they are passionately calling Starbase with the rapid development and the recent success it is becoming more and more real that the first humans to set foot on Mars might actually launch from SpaceX's Starbase facility would you like to someday visit SpaceX's Starship factory let me know in the comment section. If you are new here and like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.